Hello, this is Glenda with AKA GK for Raylan, a friendly community. And <clears throat> excuse me, I'm glad you could join us. husband has tomorrow off for veterans and that's something I did touch on earlier in the month and so yeah that is something very important for this whole weekend my dad is a veteran he was stationed in Alaska during the Korean War on one of those uh, Air Force bases up there I think it was near Anchorage, which one's further south, I can't remember, but anyway, I think it was near Anchorage, yeah, because I don't remember mentioning Juno that much, anyway, but um, of course anything that you call near up there is, <laughs> you don't know just how near near is. Um, I've never been to Alaska. I always thought it'd be nice to get there once to just to see. But um, he took his training in New Mexico <laughs> and then they stationed him in Alaska. And he'd wanted to learn how to fly. And fortunately, when he was two, he'd fall, well, he's young. He was like, I don't know, 18 months, two years old, somewhere in that area. And they had a campfire or whatever. And he got too close and toppled over and got his hand in it. And so they had to graft skin onto his hand. And so his hand is always like this. Because as he grew, of course, then it contracted them more. And he could use the fingers, but only to where he could open them up, you know, just that far. He couldn't get them completely open. And I guess that was the deal, because he had really good vision. So from what I understand, that's what kept him out of being able to fly, as far as the Air Force was concerned. And uh, so, but, you know, you don't think about just how much danger he was in, because, I mean, Alaska and, you know, they're kind of a target for Korea. But anyway, he, um, my mom and him were married while he was stationed in New Mexico. And that's where my brother was born. And then they moved to um, Alaska. Dad went up first, and then mom and my brother flew up later. And um, anyway, but yeah, they were up there for year or so something like that and uh, mom well they wanted to homestead up there but my brother had some was having some problems with some allergies to certain things and well he always did the whole time he was growing up when he was you know I've been having this problem with eczemas it's been just kind of showing up as I get older, which happens with some people, but it runs in some families. My brother, of course, he 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 took allergy shots when he was a teenager, or when he was a kid, mostly like when he was a teenager, and they they took him in and had these strips done on his back and found out what, and he was allergic to a lot of the stuff on the farm, unfortunately, but she gave him shots every so often that they were, I mean, mom had to give him at home and uh, they used to do that. But anyway, he would get this, he would get eczema, but it was more like what I've got up here, this real, real, you know, patch. And it would just, the whole inside of his elbow and it would just be, it, it would just look like, you know, like it would bleed. And uh, well, sometimes I think it even did. But back to veterans and my dad being a veteran. Um, 
they were going to homestead, but they didn't because um, they, well, and with a baby. I mean, my brother was just little. I mean, he was just barely, um, I think he was like maybe 18 months when they left up there. And he was just a baby when they went up. They had pictures of him in his snowsuit, but they didn't want to be somewhere because the only places for homesteading at that time required a plane for you to get there and back. And so anyway, but uh, so they decided not to homestead. So they moved back and uh, and we lived on the farm. They moved, they lived a few other places, but after he was released from, or you know, was discharged honorably from the Air Force. But he did try, finally, he was getting, you know, I think he was in his 50s. He was trying to get his, his um, pilot's license. He had his ground school done and he was just getting ready to take his flight, you know. And I can't remember if, oh, that was in the 80s. I believe it was in the 80s. And that was when uh, the farming just went bad. But anyway, there's a lot of veterans out there who really do deserve our thanks from years back. Um, you know, from, I mean, some of us have relatives that go way back. You know, my husband's, his great-great-grandfather or something like that was in World War One. And I believe his grandfather was in World War II. His dad was stationed during the Korean War. And uh, him and his brothers were too young for Vietnam. So I think his oldest brother might have been, well, his oldest brother might have been close. I think he, yeah, uh, his parents were divorced. He was the oldest. So I think there was something to do with that. Anyway, so he, he, he managed not to get drafted. So none of them boys got drafted for some reason. But anyway, um, my, my brother was just too, just too young for the draft. Um, well... He was in college, otherwise he probably could have been drafted. So that was that was one thing that could keep you out of the draft was being in college. But he was in he was going to trade school for um, tractor mechanics. Anyway, uh, then so our generation was mostly you know to to we were in peacetime most of the to, uh, most of our lives, and then. Um, my son-in-law, he was in the Air Force, uh, during, I think, Desert Storm. My nephew, on Joe's side, the oldest nephew, he was in the Marines. Now, he was stationed in Okinawa, and I think most of that time... And then he came back, and he stayed in for a while as a recruiter. And But, uh, I don't know, he, he finally decided he'd had enough of it. <laughs> he didn't want to get, you know, sent to different recruiting offices around the country anymore, so he didn't re-up again. I think he re-upped maybe once, and, you know, with the recruiting and stuff. And then, well, he, he got married. Fell in love, got married. That happens. <laughs> My um, nephew of my sister's boy, uh, just during the Afghan, he was he was in Afghanistan. He was a medic. He is now living with his wife and 
their daughter in Oregon and I think Oregon not Washington anyway <laughs> she grew up in Oregon and they were living in Oregon I think they might I think they're still in Oregon but I I get mixed up there's too many of them <laughs> we have a very large extended family um, but anyway so he you know he experienced some things over there and we don't ask him to expound on them or anything but back to my dad and the whole thing <laughs> what irritated him was when he, he had carpal tunnel here all about um, anyway a few years back he had carpal tunnel and so they did some surgery on his hand and they said well I'm just going to release this skin I'm going to re release this scar tissue here why didn't anybody ever do that or what didn't why didn't your doctor ever have you mention you doing that he said I didn't know I could it's like Anyway, so now he can, well, it's just, he can open this hand now. One of them. <laughs> anyway, he can open it now. And he said all those years, he could have had that scar, you know, had that taken down to where he could have moved his fingers more, got that dexterity back in him, and probably been good for the Air Force, or at least learning how to fly. <laughs> but... He, he, he almost there, so, but, you know, he had the satisfaction of having tried. That is the thing, you know, you have to have tried. If you don't have tried, you, you know, you can't fail if you don't try anything, and he didn't fail. This, the economy failed him, you know, it failed farmers, period. I do want to... I've put her link in the um, descriptions tonight. Tara, T-A-R-R-A, -R -R Ismail, I-S-M-A-I-L, my vlogging 1G channel. And I'm, but I'm going to put one of her, a link to one of her um, musical videos where she does a cover. And it's just awesome to see how she has changed since she started getting and using her music. Music is just a wonderful, wonderful thing. It just, it lifts people up. It, it's empowering. It's soothing. So there's just a lot of, that's why they have so much musical therapy. Um, that and art. Yeah, so I wish they, you know, I'm glad... Our schools kept the arts very active, and I'm glad for that. So. so it's been another day, and it's come to an end. I love all of you, and please do. If you are new or you just haven't subscribed yet, please do subscribe and give me a thumbs up. I like the likes. <laughs> I like them thumbs up things. And... Uh, if you like what you see and you think someone else might like to, you know, hear something, share it with veteran so they know they're appreciated. But I appreciate all of you, whether no matter who you are, because I'm no, I'm nobody's. You know, long as you're nice here, that's fine. <laughs> I will see you tomorrow.